The island of Madagascar was once home to many gigantic creatures, and one of them is the elephant bird, considered the largest bird that ever existed. These birds laid the largest eggs of any animals in existence, even larger than the giant sauropods of the Cenozoic era. The eggs were 180 times bigger than a chicken egg and 7 times larger than an ostrich egg. The largest elephant bird species, the Wormbit Titan, could weigh up to 730 kilograms or 1600 pounds and stand 3 meters tall or 6 feet tall. This massive bird occupied a similar ecological niche as elk or deer on the island. Speaking of Madagascar, despite locating close to Africa, the island has little connection to the continent. It was once part of the tectonic plate that formed India and Pakistan, but when the plate moved close to Africa, a landmass broke away, creating the island of Madagascar. That's why its ecosystem evolved completely differently from other continents, with most of animal and plant life not being found anywhere else. Madagascar had no predators in its habitat, allowing many creatures to evolve to enormous sizes, including the elephant bird. The the revolution proceeded similarly to that of the extinct Moa and the Dodo. However, this isn't a coincidence, as all of them belong to the group of birds called the Retites, which also includes extinct species such as the Emu, Rhea, Cassowary and Kiwi. The Retites are distinguished by their strong, muscular legs, lack of a breastbone, simplified or reduced wing skeletons and absence of flight feathers. The only exception to some of these characteristics is the Kiwi bird, the closest living relative of the elephant bird. Despite its small size, this tiny creature lays an egg the same size as an emus. Like the kiwi bird, the elephant bird shared a nocturnal lifestyle, which is unusual for birds. This means that they were active primarily during the twilight and night periods. The elephant bird probably had many similarities with other large flightless birds. It's believed that they were at least partially fruit eaters, similar to the cassowary in Australia. This is because many fruit and trees in Madagascar resemble those eaten by the cassowary. In addition to fruits, the elephant bird also consumed shrubs and grasses, as it's predominantly inhabited grasslands across the island. Paleontologists claim that the elephant bird mainly fed on low-lying fruits, which were plentiful in the tropical climate, similar to the dodo's diet on Mauritius. The elephant bird had vestigial wings, long legs and necks, with small heads relative to the body size. They bore straight and thick conical beaks that weren't hooked. Mullerornis was the smallest species of the elephant bird, with a body mass of only around 80 kilograms or 180 pounds and a height of only 1.5 meter or 5 feet tall, which is similar to the Australian cassowary. We don't know the exact date of the first evidence of that magnificent bird, as the human stories about Malagasy elephant birds are almost as old as humanity in Madagascar. However, we do know for sure that the elephant bird didn't survive the arrival of humans for very long. The decline of the elephant bird began long before the humans arrived in Madagascar. It started during the transition from the Pleistocene to the Holocene, when climate change caused the bird's habitat to become drier, leading to a decrease in their population. As a result, by the time the humans arrived, there were already fewer elephant birds, making them more vulnerable to extinction. Reproduction was another concern. It seems that the creatures were reproducing too slowly. Scientists estimate that these birds laid clutches of no more than two eggs. Besides, people hunted for their eggs since they were large, rich in proteins and fats and could sustain a large family for an extended period. People also hunted these birds for their meat, making their reproduction even more difficult. Additionally, the poultry that people brought with them to the island might have introduced bird diseases that the elephant bird couldn't cope with, as they had been isolated for thousands of years. 
And finally, the extensive slash and burn agriculture sealed the fate of the elephant bird. The last reported sighting of live elephant birds may have occurred in 1658. The French governor of Madagascar claimed to have seen a giant bird similar to ostriches, but it was unclear if he had ever seen one alive, because he only said the birds lived very withdrawn. Most scientists today assume that the elephant birds went extinct in the 1700s, however, there is still no exact date of their extinction. If you found this interesting, check out my other video about the tallest birds to ever exist.